This is section 1.6. So let me show you the homework for section 1.6. Starting on page 138. We start at problem five. One's at the bottom there. Somewhere there. And again, I have to raise up the book, sorry. In order to see these. And some problems about radicals. And that should be that. Okay, problem nine, x to the fifth minus three x squared equals zero. Factor out the x squared and you have x cubed minus three equals zero. That means x squared equals zero or x cubed minus three is zero. If x squared is zero, that means x is zero. Add three, x cubed is three, take the cube root. So x is zero or x is the cube root of three. 15, factor out an x. Factor further, x times x minus two, x minus three. So x is zero, two, or three. 19, you have three x plus five to the fourth minus three x plus five to the third. Factor out a three x plus five cubed. This has one more three x plus five minus, that's just gonna be one. That gives me three x plus four. So either this is zero, where x is negative five thirds, or this is zero, negative four thirds. <clears throat> 21, you factor by grouping. From this pair, you can factor out an x squared, x minus five. From these two, you can factor out a negative two, leaving me also x minus five. Factor out the x minus five and you have x squared minus two. That means x equals five or x squared minus two equals zero, which means x squared is two. So x is five or plus or minus radical two. 27, a little bit more complicated. Clear the fractions by multiplying both sides by the common denominator, which is four times x minus one, x plus two on both sides. So if I multiply by this, I have four times x plus two. Multiply by this, you have four times x minus one. Multiply this, fours cancel out, you have five times x minus one, x plus two. Distribute four x plus eight plus four x minus four. Five times distribute this, x squared plus two x minus x is plus x minus two. Distribute to five, five x squared plus five x minus 10. Throw these two over to the other side. That gives me five x squared minus three x minus 14 equals zero. Use my quadratic formula, x is negative b, three, plus or minus the square root of b squared nine minus four times a, which is five times c, which is negative 14, all over two times a, which is five. This comes out to be nine plus 280, that's 289, divided by 10, square root of 289 is 17. So x is three minus 17 is negative 14, divided by 10, which is negative seven fifths or x is three plus 17, which is 20, divided by 10 is two. Both are okay. I have to make sure I'm not dividing by zero and I'm not, so we're good. 33, again, clear the fractions, multiply both sides by two x plus seven, x plus three. <clears throat> so here the two x plus seven cancels out, I have x times x plus three. Here the x plus three cancels out, I have two x plus seven times x plus one. And this side two x plus seven times x plus three times one, just ignore the one. Okay, distribute x squared minus uh, plus three x, distribute minus parentheses, two x squared plus seven x plus two x is plus nine x plus seven. Distribute two x squared plus six x plus seven x is 13 x plus 21. Distribute x squared plus three x minus, minus, minus. Combine like terms on the left side, it gives me negative x squared minus six x minus seven. Throw all of these over to the other side. So zero equals three x squared plus 19 x plus 28. Quadratic formula, negative b plus the minus the square root of b squared, 19 squared is 361, minus four ac, four times three times 28. That comes out to be 361 minus 336, all over two a, two times three, which is six. That's 25, square root of 25 is five. So negative 19 minus five is negative 24, divided by six is negative four. Negative 19 plus five is negative 14 over six, reduces to negative seven thirds. Both of those are okay, because when I look back at the original, if I plug in either a negative four or a negative seven thirds, I'm not gonna get zero in the denominator. Again, involving radicals, <coughs> square both sides, two X minus one equals three X minus five, subtract two X and add five, X equals four. If you plug in four, they checks. Two times four is eight minus one is seven. Three times four is 12 minus five is seven, square root of seven equals square root of seven. 
Okay, 43, subtract one, square both sides, two x plus one equals x squared minus two x plus one. Uh, throw everything on the right side, zero equals x squared minus four x, one minus one is zero, factor out an x, x equals zero or four, but zero does not check with the original. If you plug back in zero, that gives me square root of one plus one equals zero, that's nonsense. But four does check, two times four is eight plus one is nine, square root of nine is three, plus one is equal to four, that checks. So I only keep four. <clears throat> this one, x to the fourth, you can think of x squared squared, so it's like a quadratic in x squared. So x squared minus one, x squared minus three equals zero. If you're not convinced of that, four the back out, you will get that. So x squared minus one is zero, or x squared minus three is zero. Add one, x squared equals one, add three, x squared equals three. Square root property, x is plus or minus one, or plus or minus radical three. 57, notice that that matches that. So do a substitution that y equal one over x plus one. Then I have y squared minus two y minus eight equals zero. That factors in a y minus four, y plus two equals zero, y equals four, or y equals negative two. That's y, but I plug back in to find x. So four goes right there and negative two also goes right there. So four equals one over x plus one, negative two equals one over x plus one. Multiply both sides by x plus one for both equations. Algebra is similar. Divide by four here, divide by two here, and then subtract one. So one fourth minus one is negative three fourths. Negative a half minus one is negative three halves. 59, pretend this is x to the two halves squared minus five x to the two thirds plus six equals zero. Let y equal x to the two thirds, which means the cube root of x squared. <coughs> so I have y squared minus five y plus six equals zero. That factors in y minus two, y minus three equals zero. That gives me y as two or three. Then I plug back into here. So two equals cube root of x squared, cube both sides. 8 equals x squared, so x is plus or minus the square root of 8, or plus or minus 2 radical 2. Same thing here, cube both sides, 27 is x squared, square root property, x is plus or minus the square root of 27, or is plus or minus 3 radical 3. 63, multiply both sides by x to the 1 half, 0 times anything is 0, that gives me x to the 4 halves, x squared, x to the half times x to the half is x to the 1, and x to the half times x to the negative half is x to the 0, which is 1. So I just have x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals zero, which factors into x minus five squared equals zero. So x is equal to five. Okay, so those are some problems from section 1.6.